writing, help me, the slow of heart to move. The slow of heart, help me. That's coming from a Christian. Very godly man writing this beautiful hymn. Now, I, sometimes I don't know. I, I'm sure that we don't realize that our hearts are so slow to respond uh, to the work of God, to the voice of God, the movement of God, God trying to bring something to bear upon our hearts to cause us to move. And we're not aware of His presence. We're not aware of His hand and and His guidance in our lives. And uh, so we almost have to pray, Lord, make it stronger, make it clear. Are you trying to tell me something? Even when the pastor preaches straight, True. even when it's head on, yes, sir. even when we've been revealed, we still don't see anything wrong with our own hearts. And uh, because we grieve conviction away, sometimes we laugh it away. Sometimes we talk it away. And sometimes we do other things to get conviction off of us. We become busybodies. Some people become busybodies in other people's business, but we just become busybodies, and thus we grieve the Holy Spirit. All of our guys trying to work with us. And we're very slow of heart. We don't realize the hardness of our own hearts. It's like we're, uh, God's trying to help us so much and love us so much. It's like we're kicking him in the teeth and slapping him in the face. And we go on and on and on, day after day, year after year, even after it's made so clear to us and so plain. That's the reason when you come to church, and before you ever come, you've got to have a revelation in your heart. If God sent a man, you've got to hear him preach. You've got to always agree with him. You've got to always know that he's right and you're always wrong. Absolutely, entirely, 100%. Now, if he's just been appointed by a bishop, you, you can just kind of become a society. That's all right. But when God sends a man, it's another story. Yes. You know that he's right and you're wrong in your own heart. Yes. If you don't believe that, then you doubt God every step of the way. You doubt him and your heart becomes harder and harder and harder. <clears throat> You've got to believe that God's speaking through that man. So I'm telling you, there's not much hope for us unless it gets to the preaching of the cross, unless we get it, because not many men are that hungry for God to be willing to die and take a cross without some spiritual instruction. Praise God forevermore. But the heart is so slow to move. The heart is so slow to be awakened and, and hunger and long for God. We long for what we like and what we desire and where we want to go and what we want to do. And we think about that and we plan our way and we, we like to talk with other people about it but when it comes to doing God's will and then we shrink back when God comes on a servant or God comes on his man or whatever we kind of shrink back from him and say well he's being too oppressive with me here he... praise God God really wants to work with us God's desire, he's desired to work here in Parisburg, Virginia. Been here 15 years. It's about time we had revival. Yes. The revival is when the saints get right with God. Yes. It's when God's people get right, get clear, and begin to love Jesus. <clears throat> when you love Jesus with all your heart, you love everybody. Yes, sir. You love everybody. Yes, sir. It breaks down the barriers. Yes, it just, I'll tell you, the fences and the walls come tumbling down when you get right with God. You love everybody. You love everybody. God gives you such love for everyone, everywhere. That's right. Praise God. Praise God for everyone. I mean, even those that have mistreated you and talked about you and hurt you and been mean to you, you love them. I mean, you lo you can't help yourself. You love them. It's not something you got to work up. You love them. God pours the love through your heart. It just it's there. It's in your heart. It's not something you have to work at. You just do it. He's there. He's there. You have nothing but love for them. Praise God. Glory, glory. But in yourself, you can't do it. Listen, if you're trying to love somebody, you're not loving them very good. If you're trying real hard to be nice, you're probably not being very nice. Because it's a characteristic of a Christian to be nice. 
characteristic, characteristic of, your, of a Christian to pray. If you're trying to pray, you're probably not doing such a good job. It's when you're relaxing before God and letting God pour His love through you. There's where you're truly Christian in heart and soul and mind. Praise God. Isn't it awful to have to try to love somebody? Man, I'm trying hard. I'm really working at it hard. It's tough. I mean, you know, it's really tough. If people don't understand, it's really tough to love them. I'm trying. I'm working at it. Well, it's because you don't have very much love. That's right. That's right. You don't have to try to work at it at all. God will just love to you. If you're surrendered to Him, He'll love. You'll love everybody. You'll love the meanest. People say, well, I love the meanest, but what about your friends? And what about your husband? What about your wife? What about those closest to you in this life? Yes. Oh, I'll tell you, God bless pour His love through you until it's just glorious. The reason you have to try to love somebody is you're more interested in yourself than you are in them. That's right. That's exactly you're more interested in what you want you than what you want them to have. Right. Praise yes. God for even more. Right. Well, maybe the Lord help us. This will hire to be strangely warm this morning and begin to move toward God and toward love and toward Christ and toward the center and toward the cross. Well, you get self on a cross and it's automatic. Your heart responding. It just works that way. Isn't that great? Yes. Praise God. So I pray you'll be awakened this morning to your own spiritual condition about how some of you kind of you're trying to love somebody. You don't have to try to love anybody. You just love everybody. Yes. This love don't start in me. It comes from God. So I can't love anybody just because I want to love them. It comes from God. It starts in God. No, it doesn't originate with man. Yeah, it, it don't. What I when, I when I'm loving somebody, I don't have a thing in the world to do with what comes from me. It comes from God. Yes, through me. We're a channel. Yeah, we've got to surrender to this love, this God, the Trinity. That's true, Jim. And see, we can't even love God in ourselves. We think, boy, I tell you, I'm going to love God now. You can't love God unless God's giving you the love, loving back. You can't. You can't love God. See, he's the one who gave you the spark of grace to start with. You, if you got anything, it's because he dropped a little spark in your soul. It's not because you're so good. See, we're trying, trying to take credit for what, what God ought to be getting credit for. It's, it's him working through and him pouring out his grace and pouring out his love and being so kind and wonderful to mankind. Praise God forever. Glory to God. So, Lord, this is a... This is a prayer. Help me to slow of heart to move by some clear winning word of love. Teach me the wayward feet to stay and guide them in the homeward way. Lord, guide me toward the cross. Guide me toward Christ. Guide me in his footsteps to be like Jesus. The scripture so plainly teaches us that we are to be like Christ as he is in this life. So are we also. And uh, that's not mean-spirited. And that's not stubborn. And that's not cantankerous. And that's not rebellious. That's to be like Jesus, is to be full of love and full of grace and full of truth. Praise God. Well, Father, we want to thank you this morning. You have been so wonderful. Thank you, Lord, for the unmerited favor of God, the grace that you've given us. Thank you for the way you saved us. The way you died on the cross for our sins. Shed your precious blood that we might not be the old man. Oh, Lord, that we might not be mean and dogmatic in a wrong way, in a wrong manner, but that we might be holy unto God. That we might be yours, surrendered, yielded. Trusting, believing, waiting, becoming like a little child, believing and trusting in our Father which is in heaven. Thank you, Lord. 
Oh, Lord, you're the bridge over troubled waters. And pray that you'd help us that we might uh, step over. Amen. Oh, Lord, that we might walk over and that we might be a part of this, this wonderful grace that you provided for all of us. Thank you for a land filled with milk and honey. Lord, it's available. Thank you for what you've given us. Thank you for the way you've blessed us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the kingdom of God today. Thank you, Lord. The kingdom of God, the Bible tells us, is not meat nor drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Lord, help us to cross over, I pray, into that marvelous land through the precious blood. The only way we can get there is through the blood of the Lamb. So I pray we'll walk through the door this morning. Oh God, we'll get through the door to the, to the shepherd, the true shepherd of the sheep, I pray. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Oh Father, we need you. We praise you today. Thank you. Thank you for the way you've helped here in this place for almost 15 years. Oh Lord, for all those you've saved, for all those you've helped, for all those you've healed, for all those you've sanctified, for all those, Lord, that you've been able to bring healing in their lives. And uh, give, give them the love of God. I want to thank you for everyone you've encouraged through the years. I want to thank you for the, the work, the kingdom work. I want to thank you for God's glory today. Oh, God, I pray that you might be lifted up. I pray that God may be seen this morning. Lord, I rebuke hell. I rebuke the darkness. I rebuke the demons this morning. The devil's a liar and a father of lies. God is still on the throne. And we're thankful this morning. Oh, God, we plead thy tender mercies today. May we, may we cast ourselves at Jesus' feet today. May we fall upon the living God. Oh, God, may we know that you're able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. So I pray, Lord, we'd be ready. Oh, God, we'd hear from heaven today. Pray we'd hear the word of God. Pray, Lord, we'd be stirred and moved toward the cross. Oh, God, may we be encouraged to take and bear the cross and go for God. We need you, Lord. We need you. We acknowledge our great need this morning. Oh, God, we, may we know that we're weak and thou art strong. Oh, God, and that you're able this morning. God is able. God is faithful. He never fails. So I rebuke the demons of hell. I rebuke the doubts. I rebuke, oh Lord, that self-pitying spirit this morning. I rebuke that thing that gets in our minds and tells us we can't make it. So we rebuke the enemy. We rebuke him. We bind him this morning. In the name of Jesus, devil, you're a liar and you're the father of lies. God is still on the throne. Lord, I pray the saints be encouraged this morning. May they be lifted. May you lift burdens today. May burdens be lifted at Calvary. Oh, God, save and heal and sanctify and replenish and bless. Oh, God, and send water, we pray, upon those that are thirsty, upon, upon the dry land, we pray, oh, God, that you'd flood the land this morning that's dry and hungry and thirsty. Oh, God, let it be. Pray you'll rend the heavens, oh, God, and come down. And once again, meet with your people. So we thank you and praise you and bless you. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. So we're thankful today, Lord, that you're able, that you're alive. Oh, I am thankful you're at the right hand of the Father right now, Jesus. Thank you that you're there interceding for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Oh, God, may we, may we offer ourselves. May we give ourselves. May we surrender ourselves to the way of the cross, to the living God, to the fountain of life. For with you there is joy, with you there is life, with you there is wonder, with you there is hope. In ourselves there is no good thing, but with God, with God all things are possible. It's possible we can love everybody in all the earth. It's possible we can love our friends. It's possible we can love our enemies. It's possible we can love our husbands and our wives. It's possible we can love our pastor. Oh, Lord, it's very possible. So, Lord, we plead thy precious blood this morning and pray that fount of life would be poured upon the dry ground today. Oh, God, may we give, may we offer, may we come. That's all we can give is, is ourselves. So we give ourselves this morning. Oh, come quickly, Lord Jesus, we pray. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, God, thou have the, you have the hope this morning. 
Oh, there's a hope within my soul. Oh, Lord, brighter than the perfect day. God has given me the Spirit. And I want the world to hear it. Oh, God, I pray somehow we'll be able to get it out today. That there's hope with Christ. That there's joy in Jesus. There's life. There's power. There's regenerating power in God. Oh, God, may the enemy be defeated. May the demons be driven back today. We pray, oh God, we take a stand, our stand this morning and keep on standing and keep on walking and keep on pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. We thank you, we praise you, we bless you in Jesus' name. Everybody get their hands up and praise God this morning, please. Praise God a little louder.